Mr. Beast or Jimmy is one of the most successful personalities on the internet today from giving away a million dollars to opening up 300 restaurants and doing so much more we want to find out how he can become successful like Mr. Beast while taking a look at one of the things he just unveiled Mr. Beast Burger Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to Scarcity Lifestyle, where we talk all things fitness, finance, and sometimes burgers. Guys, today's video is very interesting because we want to look at the YouTube personality, which is Mr. Beast, and finding out how we too can become successful just like he is. But before we get started today, we do have a word from our sponsor today. Hello everybody. My name is Editing Carlos. Every day that passes by is another day that I come home to my children, Nala and Oso, and they don't get to eat because Carlos doesn't pay me. Guys, you can help support this cause by going down below and supporting this channel. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, because every time that you guys do, it helps us out so much. I get one step closer to helping my kids, my children, be able to eat. Do you know what it's like to not feed them? It's hard, it's terrible, it's saddening, but you can support today. As a matter of fact, the analytics show that almost 70% of you guys that are watching are actually not subscribed to the channel and you can do it right now. Your contribution is greatly appreciated. Every like and share that you give this video is going to a great cause. Thank you and goodbye. Anyways, I uh, don't know, don't know about that guy. All right, guys. So we're gonna enter into this burger today. All right. So let's open this up and let's see how it comes, actually. Ah, all right. So I ended up ordering the Mr. Beast burger combo plus the Chandler burger. So let's see here. This is the Chandler burger. You can see right there. Place that right pop there. Came with a Sierra Mist. Here. Uh, also comes with this is the beast burger and this is the uh what is this a, a third burger i thought i only ordered two and with the beast fries which are just regular fries and ketchup packs We're gonna be rocking this mr. Beast burger all right so let's dig in uh, I honestly thought I only ordered two but I guess I ordered three all right let's open it up and let's see how how it looks first of all okay so visually speaking it doesn't look that appealing yeah this is the what is this I think this is the beast burger I'm pretty sure this is the beast burger all right, how does it taste? The pickles are good. The mayonnaise is good. It's not bad. It's an average burger. It's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was, I don't know, the way it looked, I was expecting less, but that's actually pretty good. The more, I, the more it's in my mouth, might take another bite. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Put this one aside. Now let's see the next one. Uh, I don't know what this is. Is it the same one? If it's the same one, I'm not trying it. <laughs> but I need to see. I need to see if I ended up ordering two by accident. Yep, the exact same one. Wow, I just ordered two of the same ones. Okay, I'm not gonna try that one. Roll it up, put that one aside. But this is the Chandler burger, everybody's favorite. Chandler, not not the not the burger. All right. So his is a little bit more basic. It's just, uh, it's more plain. It's just cheese and and and, uh, and patty. Yeah, pretty much. 
see how it tastes. Hmm. Pretty good. Not gonna lie. Pretty good. Pretty good. I'm missing the other one. I like the pickles in that. I like the mayo. This is just another burger. It's all right. The wow factor. Oh. My ketchup pack. Okay. Putting that right there. Now we'll try the Mr. Beast fries. Okay. Just a fry by itself. Okay. Oh, it broke. Let me see. Okay. Got some ketchup. I'm not a food critic or expert, but this is okay. This is pretty good. I I honestly expected worse. But it's actually pretty good. Hmm. Not the best. Not gonna blow your socks off. These will go great with some spread from in and out, Mr. Beast. Make it happen. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Really quickly, it's actually very normal burger. It's such a burger, you know. Everybody loves a burger. It's a burger. It's a beast style burger. The great thing about this is that how he ended up coming out with this burger with this restaurant it was through a video that was i opened a restaurant and paid people to eat there which is pretty cool you know like okay cool idea and then at the end of the video he does a very brief announcement that he opened up 300 stores or restaurants just like that except it's not free you don't you don't get paid to eat there i wish but he opened up all across the, the united states why did he do that oh why was that video made it was oh, i don't even know how to say that he made that video to promote all of these but the promotion was so small yet these are going so fast as a matter of fact the mr beast app actually ended up being like number two in the united states recently on the app store it's crazy how many people started like going to it how was he able to become so successful and open all of these restaurants Simply is because he has influence. Using your influence, how can you replicate the same thing that he did? Obviously, you won't be able to open up 300 restaurants all at once. You don't have that kind of money. Nobody does. But what you can do is you can start building your influence because with influence, you can open up a successful business just like that. First thing you got to do, go to your social media right now and start posting. That Instagram thing that you haven't gone to in a little while, go ahead and make a story. Post a story or maybe make a post about something, about anything. And then just start doing that a little bit more consistently. And then you start making a post everywhere, what, every other day and a story every day. And then go to your TikTok and start making some TikToks. Go to Twitter, start tweeting some stuff. Go to Facebook, etc., etc. When you build your influence, it's a lot easier to start a business because a lot of people know you and they'll be able to help you out. This is great if you're part of a community, for example, a church community, for example, a work environment. That's a great place to start. There's different things that you can do in order to start your successful business, but you have to start building your influence. If people know about you, it's going to be a lot easier for you to start building whatever it is that you want to build. Can you start a successful business without being on the social medias? Of course you can, but it's a lot easier. And why neglect a resource that is available to you right now? Go ahead and, and try it out. Find all these people and they're talking about how you can make a successful business doing YouTube videos, for example. Go ahead and start that because little by little, they'll start building up. That's the first thing that Mr. Beast did before ever starting any of his business. He focused on his YouTube and he was making videos, making some crazy videos. There was videos that he made that were, for example, being underwater for 24 hours or being in a block of ice or being in jail or saying Logan Paul a million times or something. But it's, it's crazy the kind of stuff that he did, but he was just making himself known. Now everybody knows him. Everybody knows him. So that's the first thing you have to do if you want to become successful like Mr. Beast. Second thing, do the following. Take a step back and look around you. What problems are there? One of the problems that I've heard recently is that in the makeup business, for example, if you put on too much makeup 
what happens eventually that your skin starts to fade or that maybe you get a lot of pimples and maybe it's I think it's like oil based or something I'm not a, I'm not a makeup expert but I do know that there's a problem with makeup that it actually it kind of damages your skin why don't you start looking for a solution for that problem problem solving is one of the best ways to become successful this man started going out and helping people that were having problems by giving away stuff during the holidays by helping out people who were homeless and at one point uh, i remember seeing one of his videos that he was like we ordered a pizza and tipped the house which is crazy where they got a pizza man and they took him all over the place to buy a lot of stuff and he was thinking that he was getting paid to help them out but in fact he ended up getting a whole house and he ended up telling his testimony at the end of the video what that ended up doing for him guys take a step back Look at what the problems are that are happening around you and how you can fix them. That is a key role to starting a successful business in the year 2021. And lastly, be ambitious. Be ambitious. Try out things that people haven't tried. Or as a matter of fact, set goals that people haven't tried. Because whenever you are ambitious in trying a new thing, there's a possibility that you fail, most certainly. And there's a possibility that you succeed most certainly but whichever one is is a requirement of all these things together you either are successful because you threw out there or you never succeed because you never tried anything be ambitious try something new this year mr beast is trying out big things in trying to better the lives of those around him and guys i believe that every one of us can take example from that and say how can we help people and get compensated well for it guys that are three ways that you can be successful just like mr beast and guys we're gonna finish off this video here because i'm hungry and i want to eat these videos so guys if you enjoyed this video subscribe if you haven't like share this video with your friends because we have a lot more content coming your way and guys happy new years